When you wake up, this is what you gotta do You gotta crush the day before it crushes you Every day I'm here to motivate Lead the way in the AM I don't want you to hear these words I need you to feel what I'm saying, oh no. You gotta crush the day before it crushes you You gotta crush the day before it crushes you In the building, Jimmy Wilson Motivation's coming, I can feel it First thing that you need to do Is crush the day before it crushes you you're never going to deal with scarcity when you're focused on giving in abundance. And I've talked about this on a number of different previous episodes, but sometimes God puts a message in my life as a reminder to share it with you because that's really all I'm doing is I'm taking the messages, the downloads that I receive from my day-to-day -day life, the things that I'm listening to, the mentors that I'm working with, and I'm giving them back to you in abundance because at one point in my journey, I can remember a very distinct conversation with a developer friend of mine who I had actually created a friendship with because I was trying to learn how to use the software that he developed. And in doing so, he saw me asking questions in our community. He said, hey man, I'll give you the, the answers, but I need you to go and help share that with the community, make sure they know how to do this if they have those same questions. Are you down for that? And I kind of went, well, if I give them the secrets, one that take away from my ability to succeed and he said well that's kind of small thinking man that's a scarcity mindset he said if you really wanted to learn these things you could go to youtube you could study you could take courses you could do all of those things or you could just let me teach you and then agree to teach it to the person next to you and it was a whole rewire around my mindset when i realized that giving in abundance sharing the knowledge and the wisdom that i've been blessed with in abundance has kept me out of ever being in a scarcity of knowledge at this point i know no matter what comes my way any struggle issue problem there's someone in my phone who's four to five people removed from the answer to it that's it i no longer have a scarcity of knowledge in my life because i've embraced that the more knowledge i share the more access i have to it so what areas of your life do you feel as though you need to be giving more? Because when you give with more abundance, you won't struggle with scarcity. So if there's an area of your life that feels scarce, maybe in your relationships or in your business, what can you do to give more? What can you do to truly give without any expectation? And I think that's the biggest part is that when you give, you have to give without expectation because that's what lets the universe know that you're truly living an abundant mindset. And when you're living in abundance, there's no room for scarcity. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to go back and check out all the previous episodes. Make sure you subscribe and share this podcast with other like-minded, success-driven individuals who want to crush it. Check the show notes and grab your Crush of the Day swag over at crushingtheday.com. And remember... Crush the day before it crushes you. You gotta crush the day before it crushes you.